I have a couple of questions that are um, just technical questions. The first one is on recapitulating your life. You start with listing everybody you've ever met or dealt with, especially sexual partners. Yes. Then as far as the actual process goes, you take a deep breath as you, from starting with your face facing your right shoulder and you sweep across to your left shoulder taking a deep breath in. Uh huh. Then you breathe it out as you go to your right shoulder. Uh -huh. Then what? And then you move your head back to the center. Okay. In some places, I think it was in your book, or maybe it was Carol Tiggs mentioned, a sweeping breath where you go back and forth with your head a couple of times without breathing after you come to the center. Is that... Yes. Now, the, the technical aspect of the breathing isn't that crucial. Ne neither is the place of where the recapitulation is done. And I, sh I should point this out because it, it always comes up, well, I don't have a cave <laughs> where I can retreat to for a certain amount of time and do the recapitulation and uh, the recapitulation is a is a, um, a a wonderful sorcery uh, technique that was handed down from the ancient sorcerers in order to free the energy trapped in the past that they are remembered selves a personal history now that is the intent that is set up and, and the most important thing of the recapitulation is to have internal integrity an unbending purpose, and to link yourself to that intent, the intent that is already there, that is in our books, that is set up. Uh, how this is done, and where this is done, and when this is done, of course, has to depend on individual uh, circumstance. Right. Because not everyone is out in the desert, or not everyone... So, so you can recapitulate just sitting in your car as you're driving along without doing the, the breathing, and as long as your intent is correct. Um, Florinda Donna Grau recapitulated, did enormous recapitulation on riding to a bus in, in Mexico down to Oaxaca under horrendous circumstances, if, if you're familiar with the buses. Yes, I've been on them. But, um, and you do many, many different recapitulations. We're recapitulating to this day, walking down the street. Now I, I recapitulate. If, if something triggers something, or let's say you're... Uh, at work and you ha you have a, a break, you recapitulate there. The reason they, they say that, that you should start with a list, and, and ideally you really should begin with some sort of structure, because our concentration is not that well honed at, at the initial stages. And the list um, does two things. One, first of all, we, we start with the, the, the sexual experiences, because again, as I said, that is the the main energy that is going to help you do the help to give you the energy to do the the, the other areas. Uh, the list serves as a matrix for for hooking your concentration, and to create a list of everyone that you've ever known uh, in your life. That in in itself takes a great deal of concentration, and uh, in a way, it also determines. Well, do you really want to do the recapitulation, people? Uh, start their list and then they they stop because it, it's too much effort or they're not really committed. So the list sets it up, and then then you go from your list and you find a space, a place where, um, if if possible, a place that is is quiet and uh, put some pressure on the energy body. The luminous egg is uh, fr from the point of view of Sears is about a arm's distance from both. If you extend your arms to both sides. Mm -hmm. and to the front that and, and draw a circle that is the size of the luminous egg from the point of view of, of Sears. The assemblage point of for human beings is to the back between the shoulder blades and arms distance to the back. Um, so if you sit in a, in a car or in a cave, small cave or in, in a small closet or in a, in a shower stall, uh, a, a big box, then you notice that there's some pressure ex exerted on your energy body. And that, that is why sorcerers say that uh, ideally it would be advisable to, to, to sit in, in something like that. Um, because it, 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 it keeps you alert. It, it, it stimulates the energy body. But you don't need to be... <laughs> people with claustrophobia do, wouldn't feel at all comfortable in small, confined spaces. So they can do it anywhere. Anywhere at all where they can concentrate, and um, so you you and the the breathing that that is accompanied. It, I 
they just had, in, in my context, they called it the sweeping breath because you sweep and you actually feel like a giant broom. You feel like fiber, using your energy body, of course, you feel like a f- fibers being swept uh, free of debris. And that's a sensation that uh, after you've been doing recapitulating for a while that, that you will get um, because you will be become aware of your, your energy body. Recapitulating uh, this technique works directly on the energy body. And yes, you can start on your, your right shoulder. You're inhaling and you sweep to the left shoulder. As you inhale, you pull back everything that the energy that was trapped. And as you're visualizing, of course, first you have to set up the scene. That means that you 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 see, you visualize everything, all the detail in as, in as much detail as possible. Uh, the scene, uh, if you're in an in, in in your living room or whatever, wherever you're sweeping something, you see the couch, the curtains, the TV, the the rug, the walls, the all the detail, and then you put yourself in the scene, and then you see also the people, of course, that that are there, and then you you just watch for a while, see what what goes on, and you see yourself in action, sorcerers say. they. This is the only way that you really see yourself. Swim left to right, just giving all that back, and then you bring your head to the center, or some people begin on their left shoulder and sweep to the right, inhaling and sweep to the left, exhaling. 